best for soil, biofumigation, practical information, advantages and disadvantages. Hi there, my name is Vincent and I have been conducting research on biofumigation for the last 15 years. In this Best for Soil video, you will get a lot of information on this disease control method that was developed to replace chemical fumigation of soil. So, what is biofumigation? Biofumigation is the use of specific green manure plants which contain chemicals that are transformed into toxic gases after incorporation in the soil. These gases can help control soil-borne diseases. Actually, Brassica species, particularly mustards and sorghum species, are the most important green manure crops used for biofumigation. Mustards contain glucosinulates that are transformed in the more active group of chemicals called isothiocyanates. This group is what gives mustard its strong distinctive taste. Sorghum species contain durin, a substance which is transformed in hydrogen cyanide. This toxic substance is also called prussic acid. For both groups of plant species, there are big, varietal differences concerning the content of the toxic substances. The research on biofumigation was a response to the phasing out of methyl bromide, a widely used chemical fumigant. Research activities largely started in the 1990s. To make biofumigation work, Cultivars with a high biomass production and high content of the specific substances have to be used. When growing brassicas with a high glucosinulate content, the crop has to be fertilized with additional sulfur, as glucosinolate compounds contain a lot of sulfur. It is also important to incorporate the crops at the right stage of plant development, which is just before flowering for sorghum or at flowering stage for mustard. Plants have to be chopped finely, or even better, be pulverized to favor a rapid release of biocidal compounds into the soil. Irrigation is especially important when the soil is dry, as this will accelerate the release of the toxic compounds and also improve their distribution in the soil. If no irrigation is available, incorporation should not be done when the soil is too dry. Even though biofumigation is based on the generation of toxic substances, it is a natural method. There are no reports of negative impacts using this method on beneficial organisms, and therefore the method is widely accepted and also adopted by organic growers. The effect of biofumigant crops is not specific. In principle, isothiocyanates and hydrogen cyanide affect a wide range of soil-borne diseases simultaneously. Next to the release of toxic gases, biofumigation crop have the same effect as traditional green manure crop. They stimulate the general soil microbial activity. This results in a reduction of the soil-borne disease pressure. You will find more information on the green manure videos. Vegetable growers like biofumigation of green manures because they grow faster than traditional green manure crops. A green manure crop also has advantages beyond controlling soil-borne diseases. They improve the soil structure, reduce erosion, add nutrients to the soil, improve water infiltration and reduce nitrate losses. After more than 20 years of biofumigation research, the method is still not widely used. This might be due to the relative complexity of the method compared to chemical fumigants. Also, the reported efficacy seems to be lower than that of chemical products. The quantity of toxic substances generated by incorporating fresh plants may be too low to kill pathogens which have thick whale surviving organs that protect them from the gases released. Within an agricultural rotation, a disadvantage of this method is the release of nitrogen during the incorporation process. Particularly at warmer temperatures, only few crop rotations can successfully combine a biofumigation crop with a crop capable of utilizing the additional nitrogen. 
higher amounts of toxic substances are generated by derivated products from biofumigation crops, such as defatted seed meals. Such products are commercially available in some countries, but they are relatively expensive and are in competition to chemical solutions. As a green manure crop, it has also the common disadvantages associated with green manures. Biofumigation crops can be host plants of soil-borne pathogens or nematodes that also infect the major crops grown in the rotation. In such instances, they may increase instead of decrease the pressure of soil-borne diseases. The best for soil databases include also several biofumigation species. This allows you to include them in the planning of sound crop rotations.